Watercolor painters, did you know that you can get a fine line with a brush this wide? Well, let me show you about that. This is a Cheap Joe Dreamcatcher of one inch. This is really the only brush you need for doing a watercolor painting. I know we've got all of our favorite brushes, they do favorite things for us, but let me show you something that you might not expect from a one inch, um, a one inch flat watercolor brush. I'm going to uh, pull out some paint here, and it uh, doesn't matter what color, this is just for the demonstration. All right, now here's the, here's the way this works, the fine line with the flat brush. The, there needs to be, it needs to be well loaded with color and the color doesn't need, need to be extremely wet. The tip, this tip, is the, is the one that makes the fine line. Not, not like this or this, but this, this. And you can see it needs to be a little bit wetter than I made it there. There we go. Takes a little bit of practice to get going. There we go. So what's going on here that enables us to get that fine line? We, we can see that it's not just a fine line, but it's, it's, it's a line that has variation that can end up with a fine tip. But you see, you can get it just this fine. What's going on is uh, the, the lightness of pressure of this corner right here against the paper right here and the swing of the arm not swing of the arm like not the wrist this a, a swing of the wrist um, makes the line a little bit out of control the pressure a little out of control so if you learn to use the tip, the back tip of the brush, like this. Now let me show you uh, what, what you can do with that as a practice exercise. Let me come over here somewhere. As a practice exercise, get the brush loaded with paint. And let's see here, let's just make a... bunch of tall grasses. So you can see I got, can get a variation of thin and thickness which is not possible with a rigor. So and, and we often see when we're uh, often see in, in tall grasses that variation of, uh, of thin and thickness. So learning to use the flat brush like this can give you a lot more uh, possibilities for variation rather than using the, uh, the rigor. So give that a try and there's your quick tip.